If it be for to do, let the stuff start from me. Never the name, but that's how it will what would we not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that she enter not into temptation. The spirit within each women. So Jesus was praying. So all the calls. It is not for five or six people in the community. We have all of you called to the ease of the earth and what that is what Jesus did when he after he called his disciples. Let me read Matthew chapter four. That's where he was calling them, called them from different places. But here he has brought them to a, a prayer meeting. <laughs> Then he said, you sit here, they, they've just had a, a meal, or they go for the Passover, and here they are. They have to pray. And within a short time, they are all asleep. And we know that prayer is not an easy thing. We can all testify that prayer is not an easy thing. So Jesus leaves them and come back. And it's really Jesus is so the one thing that he had to spend time. In prayer, agonizing. What, what was before him? Having to say the whole world, so he had to pray and pray so that his body will be the point what God um, was taking him to. And uh, that's what to be something that Paul also told Timothy. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you, Timothy. And don't be there for us. Yeah, of all the supplication, prayer, intercession, and giving of thanks we made for all this, for him and for all that are in authority, that we will live a fine and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God and Savior, who will have all men to be saved. And to come unto the morning of the king. So this is the purpose of God. Paul was admonishing uh, the church that uh, 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 I would say Timothy Pastor, you should pray. The ultimate thing is that all men, all men, as much as it will be, all men will come, uh, will be saved and come to know the truth or have the knowledge of the truth. That is the word of God. So, as we as we said, this is the purpose of our prayer. If we are in the meeting, it is good for to pray for healing and everything, but this body will die one day. But the, the prayer that will take us, or that will benefit us, is the one that will really take us into eternity, where we will carry the Lord. And that is staying in the gap for somebody else, somebody else, so that their souls may be saved. I just want you to start thinking of somebody who doesn't know Christ. And I just want you to be familiar to thinking about these people because you will have to stand in the gap for all these people so that they will be, they, they, they will be saved. And I think I'll be coming very close to the end um, of my sharing. Right. So, just want us to be. But, um, some men also in the Bible, some as uh, that also were uh, given the responsibility of watching the word of God. As I was sharing with you just with them, we were talking about what we need. We know we all be called. It is not an easy job. We saw in the Matthew chapter 22, and Jesus said the time that we came back and Peter. Poor Peter, I'm sure he must be very energetic. But this time, Peter was a king. So his name was mentioned. He said, Peter, to stay with me for an hour. He couldn't. It means not an easy thing. But also, there are so many things that can be a hindrance to our prayer or inter intercession or uh, uh, 
we be a, a good watchman, right? So many things. And one of the things that we were talking about was um, 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 distraction, you know, or like maybe we're in a prayer meeting, we you ask the attitude here, and maybe you are so many miles away and your mind is not giving you what you are praying about. So sometimes you are praying and then your mind what is home. And so the time God wants to speak to you about the particular thing, there's a fear. Your mind is wanted somewhere. So God is not able to speak to us. <laughs> and uh, we, 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 we don't enjoy the, the fellowship that uh, we, we, we have. Or we don't, uh, we are not able to pray further because uh, um, we don't hear God. And because we feel we don't hear God, why should I be spending time praying? And that should not be our portion. We should always make sure that we know that it can it is not easy. And as I said, intercession is not easy. But we should always make sure that the time that we are having with God, we know that the, 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 the work of the enemy to try and distract us. Maybe you are praying for so if somebody, God lays somebody on your heart and you are praying, and then go over. After this, what would you have for breakfast? You don't have any food. Ah, how am I going to get the money for the fast part? Ah, this and that. So, so that your mind will be distracted from interceding or snatching that person out from hell on your knees. And um, that way, the devil, that is one of the ways the devil uses to distract us. But we should stay on focus and then um, the Lord will help us. Um, that has like five weeks. Yes, no. The, the one before this week, the one you showed before the that was like five. Yeah. I saw, I want to read a scripture in Isaiah. In Isaiah 50, which I said before, it's what men are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot back. Sleeping. Lying down, loving to love that. This is some of the things the enemy will want what you need to do. When the disciples found themselves in the same situation, when they were supposed to watch with Jesus, they were sleeping, they were slumming. And so if you read the whole of that, God was not happy. He was trying to tell about the type of work at the time that were in Israel. Instead of them listening, having their ears open and hearing and warning the people who were sleeping, they were blind because they were not engaging. And that is a tactical move of the enemy. They were not engaging, and they were they were blind, but they could not see. I mean, physically they were working, but spiritually they could not see. Them. But we pray that this will not be our portion. Instead of, I mean, when we read, they said they were like dumb dogs. They could not back. Instead of warring against the enemy, they were just like dumb. And instead of getting up and, and, and praying, they were just lying up and fast and thin. May this not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. And uh, let's go to the final slide. And so, the, um, I read a book from a man of God who said that for us to be able to know the mind of Christ, as we say, to be served in our life, we need to focus on Christ. We need to focus on Christ. If when we do that, like we had, we become the watchman that can hear and can also see. And when we, we are like that, we we'll be able to do our, our, our responsibility of the uh, warning people. And then we'll be able to go on our knees and also be drawn to the way of Christ. And the thing is that if you want to forgive you, but God is so good. Our Father is so kind that He doesn't want us to do anything on our own. He doesn't ask us to do things that we are not capable of doing. Anything He has said in His word, we have what it is to do it. We have it in us. So the strength of God is able to uh, guide us and then. Um, I want us to just take this picture in um, 
some words on the subject, and there's one, it's a popular one that shall be born in some words on the subject, and there is one. They accept the law, so they have. They never agree that they accept the law. The watchman waited that he day. So it is the strength of God to be able to do it, to be able to help us to overcome the waters of the day. We will not be able to do it in our own strength. As we rely on the Lord, the Lord will be able to do it. So I just want to say, as I said earlier, I'm thinking about it. And we have all been called. It's not for two people. It's not for five people. It's not six people going into that little room way, wherever you are. You are an individual and a watchman. We are not left. But God has called us and asked us to do everything as any time, any way. And this is what he has called us. Why is it that we will do the time? So, but there is one thing I just want us to know that God's with you. But God's you can pray for your need, God loves it. But the one that wants us to have from the things of God will bring souls to him. I just want us to read the last scripture in um, Romans, Romans chapter 8. You could ask me down Romans chapter 8 from the soul. One verse. One verse. One verse. One verse. Okay, from verse 32. Yeah. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principality, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in the Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Thank you. 
It is not for one person. It's not for the ministers. It's not for any group of people labeled or put child in front. And ultimately, what he wants is that it will destroy the roots of the ministry. It will come to that place so that when he comes, it will be satisfied. I don't know what you have heard. I just want you to have about all that you have heard. Jesus, but you have told them that we need to come in the gosh, in time like in time that we live in, and father and father, we should forget about our father is coming in the girl for heaven to go. You are calling us, oh Lord, you are calling us, oh Lord. May we be your father, may we be your God. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Oh Lord, we should find us